everybody, welcome to Unbox With Us. Today, my boys, Ryden and Kieran are here. Hi. And we get to open our monthly subscription box from Sakurako, and we always get excited. This month, I don't even know the theme actually, but I'm quite sad because usually the box is pretty well packaged, but this part's wet. So I'm hoping nothing leaked inside. It was maybe wet from the rain. So you can see it's softer here. So let's open it up. I will show you the package because usually it's really packed very nicely so I don't never have to worry. You can see how soft the cardboard got. Oh yeah, something got wet. You can see from the lid. So let's see. Let's hope nothing was damaged here. It's a card. Kyoto Moon Festival. Oh yes, the Moon Festival. I already have my moon cakes ready. So let me see if anything leaked or was it from the rain. I'll lay these out. I just want to show you the packaging. I don't think anything... Oh no, nothing leaked from what she, what, this is the only thing that could have leaked. Nope. So the packaging great. It was just a little damage from the rain or maybe it found a puddle. So I'll lay out all the snacks and show you what's inside. Okay, so I checked all the packaging. Nothing's wet or leaking from the delivery. So it's all good. Let me show you the book. I always like to show everybody the book. So if you want to pause at any moment to look at the pictures or read about it, the Kyoto Moon Festival is... September's theme because I think the moon festival is September 10th But I'm not sure Let's see. I love mooncakes actually this weekend my boys are going to be making mooncakes Yeah, we're going somewhere to make it so I'm excited I'm gonna cook. I don't know if I'm gonna do much. It, it seems like it's a cold one like a a snowy one they call so I don't think you have to cook it. Well, you, cook them. Oh. you can the ones that we usually eat with the lotus paste inside or the bean paste. Oh. Mm. So here's all the snacks. I'll go through these quickly now because we're gonna look into I'll show you again later. Pudding. This one has some hard candy. We never had hard candy. Ooh, yuzu. I love yuzu. Love that sour. Kyoto, I I, I really want to go Kyoto because I heard it's beautiful there. Oh, I thought this was a tea pack. It's not. Oh. Okay, anyways, we'll look through that. Oh, I see bread. My son's favorite. Did I skip the page? No. Did I? No. Oh, the salty. Mmm. Looks like sweet and salty. Looks like there's icing on that. Harvest. Ooh, they look so nice, their mooncakes. There we go. Build the history, and it always ends off with uh, a contest they're going with, and some of the people who posted about their box, and a code to collect points. So we'll lay open it all up. We're gonna try each snack at a time. My boys can't wait. Oh, before I show, so first it comes with one household item. Let me show you this one uh, very quickly. I could open this box. There we go. Nice. Oh, nice. nice. You see it? <gasps> yeah. Wow. Nice plate. Ooh. You can feel the the moon the roughness. And this is a bonus because I only subscribed for three months. And every three months before I renew, I have a code so you get a bonus item. So it looks like a little cup. Let's see. Oh, my goodness. There's a little bunny inside. Oh, look. Yeah, I'll show you. It's a bunny inside. That's so cute. Okay, so we'll go ahead and open all the snacks and try them out. Be right back. So first snack from the book, the matcha matcha cream senbei. So you can see, you can read about it. And it also gives you the allerg allergens. If you have any allergies to peanuts, dairy, eggs, lets you know what it may contain. So let me show you the inside. Yes, I know you guys really want to try snacks. Give me a second. I know. It's stuck together. Let's hope I can open. There we go. So you can see the matcha cream. Mm. Don't know if you like matcha cream, but here you go, guys. Ooh. Yeah. So it's crispy. Oh, nice. Crunchy. Very crunchy. I could hear you guys crunching it. Why is it so crunchy? Very crunchy. 
could definitely taste the matcha. I'm gonna take another bite. Take another bite. Is the matcha supposed to taste like sugar? It's sweet because it's like a cookie. Mm. Matcha is like a it's a tea flavor. Tastes oh, very pop. Yeah, you like it? Yeah. Out of ten, what would you give it? Ten. Mm. Wow. Can I have another one? Yeah, you like it that much? You like to last time he never liked matcha. I guess he likes the flavor. I would give it like a, a like seven, it. eight. I, Not too bad. Same. 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 Let's move on to the next one. Kyoto candy. Kyoto candy. So this pack came with six flavors. Brown sugar, Japanese mint, matcha, shiso, ginger, and plum. So I don't know which one's which, but I'm assuming I open it all up. The green's the matcha. That's the brown sugar, I guess. Maybe that's mint. Ginger, I don't know. We're going to have to taste it. But I opened up, but it also came with another set, one of each. So, which one would you like to try? I don't want the one I don't like. I don't know which one you don't like. I don't know what's what. Uh, uh, nice, tiny, hard candy. Not the pink one. Pink one. Tell me what flavor it tastes like. Right can it? I have red? What red? Actually, no. Can I have that? The brown is brown sugar, I think. Or maybe that's plum. Come here, um, White, white. White, white. Oh, this white one? Okay. Is it hard? Don't choke on it. Oh, it's mint. mint. Oh, you hate mint. The two okay, you take a different one. Here, try the yellow one. So the white one's mint. Oh, it's mint too, I think. I think this brown one's brown sugar, I think. There's not more than one mint. Can Why do you say this tastes like a fruit? Um, I don't know. Maybe plum? It's nice. Hard candy. Brown sugar. This, I don't really like the brown sugar taste one too much. I, I don't like the yellow one much. Maybe that's ginger. Well, green is matcha, I'm quite sure. And this one, I don't know. I want green. I'm pretty sure this one. You want green? Yeah, green. You like matcha? Here. I want to try yeah. matcha. I really like this one. I'm pretty sure it's plum. Daddy mm, likes plum. Tastes good. Okay, then I have that one. So there we go. So it's just like a hard candy, just with different flavors. Nothing. Mine's just brown sugar, so it tastes like a sweet hard candy. But apparently, they my son really likes the one he has, a reddish one, mm -hmm. which is this one. Yeah, the wrapper doesn't say what's in what flavor it is, so you just have to figure it out and taste it. Do you want mint? I don't know. No, he does like mint. So next one is a tea we're gonna try. So let me get that ready for you. So the next one is the hojicha. Jion Su Jerry Hojicha. So apparently it's made through a sand oven. I don't know. That's interesting. It tells you if you want to have it hot and if you want a lighter taste, you uh, heat the watch to different temperature. So here's the tea bag. So is it the stronger, uh, the harder it is, the stronger the taste? And the tea. I guess you guys probably don't want to try it. I don't know. Do you want to try it? It's no. very hot. Yeah. No. You... Wow. Smells very nice though. You could smell the roasted tea. That's very refreshing. Very nice. Usually I don't like hot tea, but this one I don't mind. You could taste the roasted uh, tea leaves. It's very, very nice. It's a little hot. I prefer a colder tea, but it's very nice. So, I usually don't drink hot tea, but this is one I would actually drink. Has a little, 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 little hint of bitterness. Not too much, but very, very, very nice. I would drink this tea again. Okay, let's go on to more snacks. That's what we like. Yay! So next is a soba boro. And boro is a Portuguese word for cake. So let me just show it to you quickly. So these are made of buckwheat. Let's see. That's a nice flower shape. Let me break it up and show you the con texture, consistency. Oh, there you go. Light airy. Here you go. Ooh, yay. Oh. <laughs> Let's try it. I'm gonna eat it. I'm gonna bite it again. You know, it looks crunchy, but it's not that crunchy. It's crunchy, it's sweet, it's light. Mm -hmm. I like it. I really like this one. 
it has a, like a biscotti texture, like it said here. It's very nice, light. I think biscotti is actually uh, no. more tougher, more harder. Well, because it's thicker. There's a nice, thin, light snack. Not bad. Not five bad. Out of ten, five. She gives it a five. Oh. There you go again. Actually, nice, never, sweet. Actually, I like it. Never mind. Six. A six. It was really yummy. It was really yummy. I like that one. Very light. Not too sweet. And a cute little flower design. I mean, some of it was broken in the package, but that's expected. I mean, they did pack it into the box all the way from Japan. So this next one is a nice one. It's Kyoto Moon Viewing Gold Freight. It's like a little biscuit with cream inside. And it appears it came from the matcha, came from... Um, a prefecture from Kyoto, and they still do the method of stone grinding, which is interesting. So here we go. Here's a nice design for the Moon Festival, and you see the Sakurako logo right there. So I think this was made purposely for them. So let's break this open. Oh. Uh oh. No, oh, it's okay. So you can see. Still matcha, the green tea, green matcha filling. Nice and light. It's a special treat. Here you go. It's very crunchy. Uh, I kind of broke it. I had a nice bunny design on it. You know, this isn't as crunchy as the last one. That's nice too. I can't really taste the matcha. Very light matcha taste. But I like the biscuit around it. It has an aftertaste, a little aftertaste that's a little bitter. Oh, yeah. I don't know if that's from the matcha. Probably. But it's nice. It's a, a special little treat from uh, Sakuraku for this month. I like it how it, how it had a picture. I it. Yeah, it eight out that was a cute picture. 8 out of 10. He really liked it. It was nice. Just had that little aftertaste of bitterness. Not too bad. Let's move on to the next one. The pudding. I'm really interested to try this because I'm not sure how I like this kind of pudding. It's a Kyoto Hojicha Latte Pudding. So pause if you want to read it. It looks interesting. It looks nice. So I just want to show you. I don't know if my boys don't really want to try it. I want to try it. You do now. Okay, come. Karen, do you want to try it? No. You could taste the tea. It's actually really interesting. It's nice. Mm. I'll try it, Karen. Okay, it's really nice. Just kidding. I just dropped a little on the floor. That's okay. What do you think, Karen? Ryden, what do you think? Six out of ten. Six out of ten. Not bad. Ouch. What is this? It tastes like. Isn't this like a fruit? No, it's tea. I don't taste any fruit. You can taste the tea. You really could taste the tea flavor yeah. and the sweetness. So it's tea, sweetened tea, and made into a pudding. Yes, the pudding tastes like tea. Yeah, Tasty, I really like this one, actually. It was really good. I could eat this. I thought I wouldn't like it. I wasn't sure, but hey, I this is why it's the best to get these snack boxes, because you can try a little of everything and see what you really like. I, I like that. Kieran, you didn't like it? No. Nope. Tastes like tea. Tastes like tea. But yeah, you like the matcha tea. <laughs> okay, next one. Okay, excuse my pronunciation. Mangestu pon amakara soy sauce. So it's like a rice cracker, what it seems, texture with a soy sauce flavor. And it's supposed to shape like a moon. Nice and round like the moon. You could see. And that's why the packaging has a rabbit, because that's all part of the moon festival with the rabbit. So if you want to pause to read it, I would like to try this. Who wants to try this? Mm. You want to try? Yeah, it looks like a cookie. Oh, yeah. The rice cracker, but not as crunchy as the regular other ones that we always do. Arare. I don't think it's crunchy at all. It's like very a... little crunch, a little, not very crunchy at all. Um, yes, I could taste the soy sauce. Could you taste it? I taste the soy sauce, but that's it. Nothing special. I wouldn't eat this again. You could taste the soy sauce. Soy yeah. Sauce is like yeah, the salty part. yeah, that's it. Like, there's nothing. I'd rather have a different rice cracker. This one, not that, like, special to me, I guess. Like I a salty snack. Yeah, just soy sauce flavoring, flavor, 
not as crunchy rice cracker, I guess you could say. So that was okay. It's cute though, like the moon. Yeah. It does. Yeah. Did you like it? Yeah, it was pretty good. Ryden, did you like it? Yeah. Yeah, what would you give it? Hmm. I'd give it an 8 out of 10. Oh, so he really liked it. Here you go. You can have I it. I liked it a lot. Next. I'm really excited for this one because I love yuzu. This is a yuzu doriyaki. So you could pause to read about it. My son thought it would be red paste, bean paste because he's not a huge fan of that. So here it is. I cut it open. Here you go, Ryden and Kieran. <gasps> Yay! Ooh. I'm actually kind of excited. It feels nice and soft on the outside. A thick paste, a yuzu paste. Let me see if I can open it up. Oh, no, it's too sticky. Here we go. Is this supposed to be sour? Yeah. It do doesn't taste as sour. It tastes a sweet. little sour. It, it tastes it's sweet. It's 6 out of 10. Not sour, it's citrusy. Oh, yeah, then yes. Yeah, sorry, not sour. Citrus. So I do taste a citrus, a hint of it. And yes, of course, it's sweet. <laughs> yeah, I could taste that yuzu. 6, 7. I like it. It's like 6, 7 out of I don't know if I eat a lot of that because that's actually really sweet. Have it with some tea. To wash it down, but it is yummy. I do like yuzu, better than the red piece. How about that? Uh, the red, <laughs> red bean paste. It doesn't taste that sweet for me. Oh yeah, it was sweet for definitely me. But I definitely than... could taste the citrus. Yep. Definitely better than the red piece. Yeah. Paste. Thumbs up. What do you think, Ryden? Mm, six, six, seven out of ten. Six and a half, I guess. Karen, what do you think? That was really good. Would you have this again? Yeah. Yeah? Okay, so he's going to finish it again. <laughs> Forget dinner. Okay, we'll keep moving on. Yatsuhashi is the next snack we're going to try. So this was only used, uh, only used with, made with rice flour, sugar, and niki, which is a Japanese cinnamon. And the shape, it's supposed to be shaped like a zither, an instrument. You can see. It's really hard when it broke. It was hard to break at one point, but very nice. This was actually a snack they've had for a long time. Okay, who wants to try? I Tell me. Try. There I you want go. to try and break it. Okay. It snapped it easily. Huh? Yummy. Cinnamon. I could taste the cinnamon. Why is it burning for you? Cinnamon can feel like it's burning, like hot. We have a lot of it, like cinnamon heart candies. Mm, so but it's good. Sweet. I like cinnamon taste. Very, very, very crunchy. 7 out of 10. 7 out of 10. Oh, I'm surprised you like it. Do you like it, Karen? Because you like cinnamon usually. It's just so crunchy, though. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I'll show you how I break it. Oh, it's not too bad, but yeah. How much do you rate it? I like it like a 7 or 8. I like it. Nice, unique shape. You put a microphone to my cheek, you could hear how crunchy mm. it is. Yeah, can you hear the crunch? It's very crunchy, very, very crunchy. I like it. Karen, did you just like it a mm. lot? Or? Mm. That was okay. It was too cinnamon to me. Cinnamon me, me, me? Yeah. Okay. Well, come on, move on to the next oh. one. So, next one is a soy sauce cashew coma. Koma Mehan. So it's just, it came with just two cashews. So I managed to cut one open just to show you the inside. Let me just show you focus so you can see. So like a covering, coating around the cashew. Here you go. Here you go. Ooh, thank you. Tell me, I love cashews. 10 out of 10. I'm mostly and just, you can taste the cashew. Yeah. That's mostly, actually really yummy. I mostly mm. just like the skin. The outside of it? Yeah. The crunchiness? You have food mm -hmm. on your cheek. Ten, ten out of ten for the skin. Came in this nice little cute packaging. Next, we'll try another one. Oh. Right here. So, let me get that ready. Wasabi Pistachio Koma Mehan. And they do not want to try my boys because they heard wasabi. They're like worried about spicy. Try my best, best to cut I'll it up to show the inside. Are you sure? You usually don't like mm. any. But the spice goes away. Here, here's a very small piece. Come here. I'll break it into smaller pieces too. I'm going to give you a small, small. Oh. 
So you can see this pistachio inside. Right in, try it. Kieran, you want to try? No. Wow, you could have no more spice than your brother. No, mine has those more spice than me. Look at the pizza. Are you sure? I feel like. Let me go get a glass of water real quick. Okay. Yep, you can taste that. The first thing you taste is the wasabi, and then it's gone. I like that. I love pistachios. Mm, I'm scared about this kind well, then don't, don't try it then. I would eat it. It is nice. I like it. I like. I wouldn't use wasabi on my sushi. Here, here's a piece smaller Not than usually, but in. this is good. What if you it just basically has a little what kick. What if you just swallow it right when you taste it? And you can't really taste it. There's a little kick to it. That horseradish wasabi taste. Okay, okay I'm not going to try it. Okay, one. they gave up. So only I tried it. I give it like an 8 out of 10, 9 out of 10. I would sit there and eat this. And the cashew one. They're both really, really good. Then, then take mine. Next one is the bread. <laughs> so the bread for my older son who loves bread. Satsumaimo. Satsumaimo bread. So it's a sweet potato bread apparently. Very popular. Again, very soft, as you can see, so bouncy. Here you go, Kieran. Yay. And this bread, it must, like, every month they come with this kind of bread. Here you go, nice and soft and fluffy. Um, mm. You can see kind of, I don't know if you can see in the cameras. I guess that's a sweet wow. potato. Wow, he says. Tastes mm. like normal bread. But sweet. Yeah. Very little hint of sweet. I don't taste the potato. No, it's a sweet potato. Oh, so Not like potatoes, like french fry potatoes or I mashed potatoes. It's the, the, the sweet potato tastes super strong. It's nice. Well, neither sweet Just potato. a little hint of sweet bread. Right. But maybe the sweet potato tastes super strong. Really? Well, I taste a hint of it. A little sweet, but nice and soft and fluffy. So soft, the bread. Just eat it all. But I know my son's going to eat it, but he's getting full. <laughs> I know. We could save it. I'll put it back in the packaging. See how soft. Look how soft. If I finish that, I won't be able to eat anything else. <laughs> or move. Uh-oh. I'll Damn. be on my We'll bed. move on. Just a few more snacks. Next. Oh, ten ba black bean arare. So this black bean is specifically grown in Kyoto, and they use it in desserts a lot. So you could see the black bean in it. One ray fell out, or two fell out. It's like a little rice cracker with black bean. Ooh. Here you go. I know, that's interesting. I, I don't know how that tastes. You're right, and there's a little black bean in that corner. It is salty. It is salty. It's the rice cracker, the one's my favorite. Very I'll crunchy. i the other one to show you. Black bean tastes like. Well, this black bean is apparently only grown in Kyoto. It's salty and crunchy. I kind of taste the black bean. I don't taste. I just taste the rice cracker. Taste but I like it because I like this kind of rice cracker. Nice and crunchy, light, salty. My favorite snacks in the box usually is the rice cracker. Ten out, hundred out of ten. Let me focus there. Hundred out of ten. Let's see. Typical rice Isn't cracker. Hundred. Hundred out of ten. There you go. And it had the little black bean that fell out. Let's keep going. Next one. Ooh. Kinako mochi. Which when you think of mochi, you think of that very nice, chewy texture that I love. But apparently this is still has a crunchy texture to it. So let's see. It came in these two different wrappers. I'm not sure if they taste different. It's just pretty wrapping. So... Here you go. Here you go. Is this salty it's... snacks? Salty, yes. It tastes sugary though. The outside has a dusting of something that makes it taste salty. Or sweet. Smells and wet. I like that. Man, that's addictive. I don't know. I think it's, um, it's, oh, there we go. It's sprinkled with soybean flour. 10 out of 10. Yeah, I like this one. I really like this one. Here, like it. Really like nice it. and crunchy, light. That powder around it is really it's good. Like, it's just I like the powder so much. Mm -hmm. that, that soybean powder around it 
it makes it really nice. What has a little refreshing taste when you first put your mouth. What happens if I lick it off and then eat the cracker? And the cracker just tastes like a rice cracker, I guess. 10 out of 10 for me. Retro Animal Yochi Cookies. So these look, I guess they're like animal crackers, but it has this icing on top, so it must be sweet. I can't tell what animals these are. So the back, I guess it's a zebra. Oh, that one's missing a leg. Uh, is this a squid? <coughs> yeah, I think so. Or a fish? I don't know. I'll try to look at the back of it to give me a hint. Or try to see. It's kind of hard to see. Is this a turtle? I don't know. Yeah, that doesn't give me any hint. And this is some kind of animal with legs. Cat? A raccoon? I don't Egg. know. Okay, let's try one. What color? Yellow. I think they all taste the same though. Here, right in. <laughs> uh oh. Yeah. It's sweet. I'm trying to lick off that icing sugar. Oh, it's hard. Yeah. yeah. It's a very sweet animal cookie. Many little kids will like this. I bit the Just a sweet icing sugar. It's hard. It yeah, like it's different. sweet. Yeah, it was okay. I'm not a fan of it. Too sweet. And that was our last one, wasn't it? Yep, that was our last one. So we tried all the snacks. Mm -hmm. What was your favorite? I think my favorite was, oh, definitely this one. Red. Kinaki mochi because of that soy beans, pow uh, soy bean powder or flour and wasan bon. I don't know what that is actually, but that powder around it made it so delicious. Of course, my son voted for the bread. It's like every month he looks forward to that bread. Hey, Ryan, what was your favorite? Do you remember? Oh, the nuts were really good too. Yeah. What was your favorite? I voted the nuts. I think the cashews because you didn't eat the wasabi, so the cashew one. One of those were yeah, the nuts were one hundred dollars. Hundred out of ten, so way above what I didn't like. Oh, there was a couple actually. I can't remember, but yeah, like the animal cookies, too sweet. The hard candy, I don't like hard hard candy. I wasn't bad. That one was good, but still, I love having these snacks because we get to try all these different snacks and find out what we like and love. You have to invest on a lot of it, and you can't go to Japan right now. I mean, they are slowly opening up the borders. Can't wait to go to try more food, but. So, until now, until then, this is what we're going to do. Get a little taste of Japan, get some snacks over. So, I think that's it for our video. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. And I have a lot of other videos of other Sakurako box unboxings I've done every month where you see all the snacks that come with. Last month was a really good one, if you want to see that. I really like those tarts. And I also do a lot of unboxing of toys. So, please check out my channel. Or our channel, right? Yes. And see you next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.